After attending the book fair at Copperfield's Books, my wife gave me a children's art book titled Americans Who Tell the Truth, because the artist, Robert Shetterly, includes a portrait of Eleanor Roosevelt, one of my own sculpture subjects. Within minutes of opening the book and seeing the variety of rich images, I sat down at the computer to write Rob, asking for permission to use his paintings for an online project. He shocked me with not only permission, but also a suggestion that since he would be in my area, we should get together for an interview at Marin Country Day School. The Shetterly recordings are bits of that conversation touching on heroes, books, and personal quotes for our own portraits. A work like this, Americans Who Tell the Truth, seems heroic, and yet at the same time, you've done something heroic. In your life, in your perspective, who is your hero? I would have a hard time singling out any one person as my hero, but, I mean, especially since I've painted now nearly 150 of these portraits that uh, encapsulate, each one encapsulates some form of heroism to me. But I think what's important to me about this is a particular kind of heroism. Uh, and I, I think one of the people that most exemplifies this for me is uh, Muhammad Ali. Everybody knows who he is. Everybody knows he was a great boxer. But I didn't paint him because he was a boxer. I didn't paint him because of his universal, universally admirable ability to be physically courageous. I painted him because of his moral courage. And, and most people either don't know about that or have forgotten about it. That in 1967, he was one of the first Americans to refuse to fight in the Vietnam War, if he refused to be drafted. That he lost his, his championship was stripped away from him. He lost millions of dollars. He was literally universally condemned in this country. His own heroes, Joe Lewis, Sugar Ray Robinson, Jackie Robinson, all called him a coward. Um, and he was probably doing the most courageous thing he ever did. And I love the, that kind of courage. Standing up for beliefs. Standing up for beliefs. And that one of the things that happens because of it is, you know, we all recognize fear as being contagious. Courage is contagious. When a person like Muhammad Ali refused to fight in the Vietnam War, he gave courage to thousands, probably millions of other young men who thought, well, if he can do it and look what he's lost, you know, I can do it. And that was an, an amazing moment in our history. And I, but I've tried, I think the universal uh, um, attribute that's part of every person I've painted's makeup, you know, whether they're, uh, you know, whatever the issue is they're fighting for, whether it's some sort of economic or social justice or environment or uh, workers' rights or any of those things, it's courage. And, you know, if we don't have any of the other virtues that we admire unless somebody has the courage, to be that kind of hero, you know, not the hero that we know everybody admires, you know, when you, and, and that doesn't take anything away from it. I mean, when you think of, you know, a, a fireman running up in the trade towers, you know, that was taking two kinds of courage at least, you know, yeah. to do that, uh, a, a, both a physical and a moral courage. But, um, you know, when people easily admire physical courage, moral courage which challenges the status quo uh, is much harder to admire because um, what we find is almost all of us are often invested in some way in the status quo. Not everybody wants to see it changed. We look back 50 years and say, Martin Luther King, what a hero of this country. You know, at the time, probably the, a great percentage of the people in the country despised him, you know, in the early 60s. You know, who does he think he is? Why can't he wait? And but that's an element in almost every one of these battles. You know, to the people who are profiting from a situation, they always want to say, why can't they wait? You know, I want to get my next paycheck first. And that's the issue, you know, is, um, you know, the, having the courage to stand up and, and face a status quo and all the damage that comes uh, down on your head because of that. And to, to speak me, that's out what for makes, change. To speak out for change yeah. and to put your body on the line. Yeah. Uh, it, that's what it often takes, is putting your body out there. And 
um, that's what seems to be a hero to me. Excellent. Thank you. Mm -hmm.